Hey guys, it's me Charlie. In today's video I'm showing you guys um, my babies that I'm currently feeding. Uh, today is May 26, I think. <laughs> I don't remember. 2012. And I already prepared some formula here. And this is my little baby green cheek kind of five weeks old. And in here I have some really hot water from the sink. What I do is I let the water run hot in the sink. And then I put it into the cup here. And then I take a glass container that will fit right on top. I mix in my formula and make it into a very, very thin... Well, not a very thin. I make it into a thin consistency, as you can see it moving. Like um, mashed potatoes, but gooey. Then I go ahead and suck it up into the syringe. And I usually have another container, another glass cup with hot water from the sink. And I lay this in there up to this point right here to keep this hot. And then I go ahead and I feed my little baby. Now this isn't the way I feed my baby. It's just that I'm holding the camera. So I can't really show you guys how I do it. I put a little towel out. And um, I have a little English parakeet there eating our seed. That one also is about five weeks old. And he's eating seed like a pro. But um, this little guy here is learning to eat seed. Bigger breed birds actually take a little longer to start learning how to eat things on their own. But they do play with a lot of stuff. Now this little guy I pulled out of the nest when he was about three, three and a half weeks old. Very skittish. And now he's nice and sweet. He can fly, so if he took off. You'll see his little blue flight feathers. This is a green cheek conure. Um, he is split to turquoise. His mother's a turquoise, uh, cinnamon, I think cinnamon turquoise, or regular turquoise. I have two, that's why I can't remember. Um, the male is a visual green, which means it's a visual green like this, but he's split to turquoise. When they had this baby, he came out green, but because this little guy here either is male or female, um, carries the both both genes this little guy will also um, give uh, turquoise babies as well so he does have a little turquoise coloring in his head so he kind of shows a little bit that he has that now if you guys want to see how this one reacts when I'm feeding him as soon as he sees the syringe it... now this one I can feed this way I don't really like to hold this one when he's hungry because he absolutely is nasty he, or I should say she my female parakeets are always the ones that bite. And they bite so extremely hard that they hang on to your finger. The only time that my English budgies does this is when they're first hungry. After I've fed them, I can't handle them and they don't bite anymore. But they do make certain sounds to let me know that they're females and that they're not interested in being held. They have a certain sound that they make. And over the many, many, many years of breeding birds, I've recognized sounds that each breed of bird makes and what it means so I do respect what that means and then they respect me back and then I usually get a good relationship with them now I do believe this is a female I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one as a breeder or if I'm gonna sell it but if someone's interested in buying it I do sell my English budgies here in Seattle Washington only I don't ship my birds but I do sell them for about forty five um, fifty dollars um, these are show quality English budgies and this is a clear body a Texas clear body English parakeet and um, they're very large. They're not the average size parakeet. These are called English. And this one at the moment is about five weeks old. And um, I'm not sure what that'll do. I only have one breeding pair now of English budgies, but I may just end up selling this one. I probably won't keep it. The back, back there is my fish tank, in case you guys are wondering. I also have a hot water bottle that I just placed back in here. It's just, it's just really hot water from the sink. And that actually helps keep the inside of this little glass brooder um, a nice temperature. Now when they're babies, they do eat um, pellets mixed with a finch mix seed. And that means that the finch um, mixed seed that you buy from a pet store, uh, buy a good quality finch mix seed. And then I mix in extra pellets. So there's a little pellet seed in there as well. This will help teach them how to open up seeds. That's why I use millet. And it also teaches um, them that there are other foods in there that are tasty, like Fruit Loops, is what I call it, even though it's uh, supplement pellet food. What are you doing? 
Well, I'm not going to be able to show you guys how I actually feed this guy correctly since I'm holding the camera. Because I actually have to go like this. I have to go like this and see how you sit still. And then feed him. But I won't be able to do that holding the camera, so... I have no other way of... Well, maybe let me try... Let me try something. I'll let you guys look at the baby while I'm trying to put this together. Alright, let's see if this works. If it does, you might be able to see it. And if it doesn't... To get something to hold this up, I'm putting stuff together as I'm doing this. Hey, that might work. Cool. Um, let's see if this works. The lighting's not going to be all that great, but we'll see what we could do. Okay. Now this little guy doesn't make any noise when it's eating time. He doesn't go kuk, 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 which they normally do. He's always been like that, he or she. Which is totally fine with me. Because I can get annoying like that little English parakeet. Here goes the dogs barking again while I'm videoing. Olivia, Duchess. I'm not calling you for some formula. They love eating the leftover formula. With that good stuff? Coochie coochie, coochie coochie. Is that good stuff, huh? I know you weren't gonna get back in there, huh? Look at these beautiful wings. Let me see if I can show you guys. Look at the colors. It's a blue. I know, I know. You don't want me to hold you like that. We want to show everybody new tube, see? Whee! That is very blue. All of the flight feathers are very blue. On a bird, when they face me, I always like to feed them on their left side, which is my right side. I never feed them from the left. I get all my birds used to eating that way for two reasons. It's easy for me to remember. And um, you don't want to feed them both directions and get them confused. Because you can shove that formula down their lungs and kill them. So it's really important not to do that. All right, ooh, we gotta go poopy. Yucky, that's gross. Everybody saw that. Here's that little English budgie. The glass is dirty because they like to put their beaks on the glass when they greet me. Hey. Hey, you. Hi. He's learning how to eat seed big time, isn't he? That's so funny. All right, do you guys have any questions about green cheek conures or English budgies? Um, Try to follow the tips um, that I show on hand feeding formula. I do have a video that shows how I prepare the formula. It's a silent video and how I make it. Um, try to be creative and use your mind on what I'm actually doing because some people are like, why aren't you talking? Um, I think I have like one thumbs down or something on the video, but I, I guess people just want to hear. I like me, I don't like reading anything on YouTube. I want you to make a video <laughs> and I don't always like pictures because I can see that on a website. But um, I probably won't do any more silent videos. I've done a few of them. I might do some depending on how I feel or if I'm not feeling well. Most of the time I ever make videos, it's because, or make videos silent, it's because I can't speak that day. I have a sore throat or something or just, I don't know, whatever. But that is a last year video when um, I wasn't feeling good. But try to do your best on researching videos on how to hand feed baby parrots or how to hand feed certain species or just how to hand feed birds that way you can um, go by the video instead of leaving lots of comments um, that are consistently the same question because a lot of us don't read the comments we just ask which is what I do too so um, it's a good idea to try to do your best on watching how they do it and pick up on all the little details see how he asked he wants food so then I would give it to him but this isn't the position that we get in when we're feeding, so he doesn't know how to work that. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. If you'd like to rate the video, that'd be great. And if you could subscribe, I would love that. 
and that way I can keep on making these videos for you guys. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! YouTube!